Now, as you start to build multi-page websites using Brizzy Cloud, you're going to come across the instance where you need to start creating your own custom menus. To do that, all you need to do is come to the CMS menu in the top left-hand corner, switch to the Menus tab, and then we can go ahead and create our first menu. Let's choose this drop-down and click on the plus. We'll give this a name, and we'll click the plus one more time. We've now created our first menu. Let's simply select the menu and now we can start to add items to it. So if we take a look at the left hand side, this will show us all of the posts, pages, system pages and custom links. So we can go ahead and simply add whatever we want in. Let's start by adding in the home page. We'll select this and we'll click add to menu. You can see that now adds that into our menu structure. We can click on the little cog icon to go and open up the settings for this particular link. You can see we can change the navigation label inside here. We can set any page we want as the home page. We can also set to open this up in a new tab. So all we need to do now is go ahead and add any other pages that we want in. So for this example, let's uncheck the home page. We don't want to add that a second time. Let's add the food blog and the contact us. We'll add those to our menu and you see now they've been inserted into our menu structure. You can also again open up any of these settings and make any adjustments you want inside there. You can also go ahead and reposition these. So you can adjust this and say we want the food blog to be after the home page and the contact us last. Now we can expand our menu structure beyond simple menus like we've seen right now. So let's go ahead and check these pages. Let's scroll to the bottom and choose the option for a custom link. We'll add that to our menu. And now we can click on the cog icon to open up the settings. So all we need to do is drop in, in this example, a null link, which is just effectively just using the hash key. And then we're going to give this a title. We're going to call this my account. Once you've done that, we can click outside. Let's deselect the custom link we just created. Let's go ahead and add the login page into my account. We we'll select it, add it to our menu. And all we need to do now is to adjust this by dragging it over to the right hand side. And you see now that indents and we've created a sub menu item. So there's our menu structure created. Let's hit save changes. And now we've committed those changes. So we can close all of this down and go back to our page. Now I've already gone ahead and inserted a menu element and you can see this is at the top of our page. We'll select that, click on the little pop out, gray pop out in the top right hand corner and choose the first option. And this is where we can choose the menu. All we need to do now is drop this down, choose our demo menu in this example, and we've now inserted our menu. Now we're right inside the section, you can see we've got some additional options. We've also got the options to make this a hamburger menu. So we can select that and switch it over to a hamburger menu. We can go ahead and position the draw. So in other words, where it pops out from the left hand side or the right hand side with our navigation inserted into it. We can adjust the size. We can switch it back over to our normal menu structure and you can see we can adjust the horizontal and vertical orientation. We can adjust the spacing between each one of our links. We've also got a full complement of other options we can use. For example, we can adjust the alignment of our navigation. We can come in and choose the options for the styling and advanced. We can duplicate and we can delete. And that's basically our menu structure. So finally, let's go ahead and test this out. Make sure that everything is working. We'll update our page and we'll click preview. And there we go. There's our navigation all in place. If we come over the My Account menu, you can see there's our pop-up. So we've now created a multi-level menu and inserted that into our design.